Watch What You Eat. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 shocking foods that will give you cancer. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at the foods that science has suggested could increase your odds of developing this deadly disease. Number 10. Low Fat and Diet Foods For decades, it was thought that following a low-fat diet was the best way to lose weight and stay healthy. Suddenly, seemingly the entire food industry has shifted to meet the market demand for low-fat products. If you don't want fat on your body, you shouldn't consume it, right? Wrong. More modern research and dietary trends have suggested that, in fact, eating a diet high in healthy fats but low in carbohydrates and sugar is a better approach to smart weight management. Low fat, low sugar, low carb, low taste. The problem is, anything labeled low fat or diet is likely to contain more sugar or artificial sweeteners, both of which have been linked with various health conditions, including cancers. Number 9. Artificial Sweeteners in an effort to slim down, people around the world have spent the last half century consuming diet sodas and adding artificial sweeteners to their coffees. They're correct in thinking that avoiding sugar is the right move, but this alternative is definitely not a healthy one. There have been studies linking aspartame and other artificial sweeteners to cancer in animals, specifically cancer in rats, after they were given high doses of aspartame and cyclamate. Though these results have not been duplicated in humans as of yet, artificial sweeteners still seem best avoided. After all, numerous studies from the 2010s have shown a clear link between the use of artificial sweeteners and weight gain, which kind of undermines the whole point. Number 8. Potato Chips You might think that since potato chips are made from potatoes, which are vegetables, right, that they can't possibly be that unhealthy. And you'd be right, because it's not actually the potato that's the problem. Unfortunately, because of the high temperatures that potato chips are cooked at, a substance known as acrylamide is produced, which unfortunately is widely considered to be a possible carcinogen. Now, that being said, if chips are an absolute favorite snack of yours, you can always try making your own at home. By keeping the ingredient list short and cooking them at a lower heat, you can give your body a much healthier alternative. Number 7. Alcohol Bad news, guys. Those weekend booze binges are not good for your health. This probably comes as no surprise, considering most people know that there are many dangers associated with consuming alcohol. But the link between alcohol and cancer is a relatively new one to most. Any history of alcoholism? You know, I mean, I drink socially, but... <laughs> I didn't have breakfast. In fact, some studies put it directly after cigarette smoking in terms of cancer risk factors. It's true that having a glass of wine or two can actually be beneficial for your heart health but overindulging has been shown to increase the risks of breast, liver, colorectal, and esophageal cancer, among others. So enjoy, but drink responsibly. It's almost empty. Just like my heart, Cyril. Number six, farmed salmon. Everyone knows that salmon is one of the top foods to choose if you're looking to follow a healthy diet. What you may not realize, though, is that the majority of salmon sold and consumed in the United States and many other countries worldwide is actually farmed, making it far less nutritious and far more dangerous than its wild counterpart. Unfortunately, both the feed which they're raised on, as well as the water in which they swim, is tainted by agricultural runoff. The end result is farmed fish containing elevated levels of PCBs, mercury, and dioxins, all of which are known to cause cancer. Number 5. Processed Meats Sadly, one of the most delicious and beloved foods in the world has been linked with cancer. Yep, we're talking about bacon. Not just bacon, though. The World Health Organization's International Agency for Research on Cancer has classified all processed meats, including bacon, as carcinogens. Basically, any meat you can purchase that won't go bad within a couple of days, for example, sandwich meats, hot dogs, sausages, etc., has been processed in order to extend its shelf life. Unfortunately, sodium nitrate is a chemical compound that is frequently used as the agent of preservation, and it is widely recognized as a product that causes cancer. Number 4. Refined Sugars Consumption of sugar leads to obesity, which is actually a serious risk factor for cancer. When most people think of refined sugar, they tend to think of the white stuff stored in the pantry for baking. In reality, though, all sugar products, including brown sugar, raw cane sugar, honey, and high fructose corn syrup, which is found in pretty much all processed foods, can have the same effect on your health. 
though further research is needed to better understand the connection between the initial development of cancer and sugar. The scientific community largely agrees that sugar encourages the growth and division of existing cancer cells. You take sugar. No, thank you, Turkish. I'm sweet enough. Number three, microwave popcorn. Whether you're on a diet or trying to lose weight, one of the most often recommended snacks to enjoy in the evening is popcorn. It's naturally low in fat, and even an entire bowl is pretty low in calories, if you're counting. While there's nothing wrong with popping your own corn kernels to create this salty snack, it's the bags of microwavable stuff you've got to look out for. What are you microwaving? Popcorn. Why don't you use the microwave in the kitchen, Phyllis? S someone needs to clean it. It smells like popcorn. The bags used are coated with perfluorooctanoic acid, a product which can cause cancers of the kidney, bladder, liver, and pancreas. The artificial butter flavoring used in prepackaged popcorn has also been known to cause something called popcorn lung. Number two, red meat. We've already talked about how processed meats can lead to cancer because of the chemicals used to preserve them. But more broadly, all red meats have been shown to increase cancer risks. Bowel and colon cancers in particular seem to be exacerbated by the increased consumption of red meat. Meats like beef, lamb, and pork have many health benefits and they aren't considered a group one carcinogen like processed meats are. Regardless, keeping your portion sizes down and consuming grass-fed varieties should help your chances of avoiding disease. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. And we now know, and I think that that's in part what's been happening for, for some time now, we now know those trans fats probably worse than, than, the, than the fully saturated fats. I'm making you a steak. I don't want it. You'll eat it. I like it well done. You'll eat this one bloody to feed your blood. Number one, bread. Many wheat products in the U.S. contain potassium bromate, a chemical that's banned in many countries because of the health risks associated with it. So it follows that a solution would be going gluten-free, right? In fact, purchasing products labeled gluten-free can contain the same unhealthy processed ingredients that make wheat products so bad for you. Most white grain products have a high glycemic index, including rice and corn. Your best bet is avoiding breads, pastas, pastries, cakes, and cookies altogether, and opting for foods that are naturally gluten-free like lean meats, dairy, fruits, and vegetables. Boring. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.